All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be doing the first 5M scripting tutorial. Uh, today we're gonna be going over a simple client-side command script that you can do. We're also gonna be adding a config file so you can learn how to do config files early because that's what everyone should do. So yeah, we're gonna teach you how to make your own assets for your own server so you don't copy everything from the forums like every server does. All right, let's get right into it. So first off, you're gonna need a code editing software, um, Visual Studio, Sublime, Notepad++, ew, it looks gross. Um, I like to use Visual Studio because they have a lot of extensions. Uh, you can see all the extensions here for like all the, I have, like all the ones that I have installed. I have a ne <laughs> neon vomit color theme. All the 5M ones that will help you pretty good. Um, so yeah. So first thing we're going to need to add is an FX manifest Lua, which used to be called the underscore underscore resource Lua was changed. Don't ask me why. I don't know. So first we're going to add that. So we're going to add a file FX manifest dot, I mean, dot Lua. There it is. I already have this copied. Oh, no, I don't. Let me grab it real quick. I already have this copied. Uh, the best place to find this is in another script. Just grab it from another script and change the stuff. Um, or go to the, the 5M forums page. Uh, there's one there that shows you all the stuff. So client scripts um, handles a lot actually will start from the top. This is the version, obviously, the game, obviously, author, obviously, description, obviously, yada, yada, yada. Client scripts, obviously, the client cited. So if it's only on your computer, then it's a client. Uh, there's one that is server underscore scripts. So... We're not, we don't have any that probably spelled something wrong, but that's server scripts, anything that handles the server, databases, SQL, yada, 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 most prop, multiple clients, shared files, config files. So we're going to have one just so you can see how to do it, obviously. So let's go ahead and add our config.lua, con, config.lua. This one's pretty simple. All you have to do is config, config. Sorry, I'm horrible at spelling. That's why... You, hear me sounding everything out like that. I probably even spelled it wrong, but it's okay. No, I, I spelled it right. Yeah, I'm happy. So it's very simple. All you have to do is con config. This is how I do them. Config discord, and then you do equals, squiggly bracket, enter, and then we're gonna set use discord equals true. So we're gonna be using the discord command, obviously. So that's what we're going to be making. So next we need to make a file, obviously, client.lua. This will handle everything, mainly in the script. So first thing we need to do is we need to register our command. So register command you know, brackets and then a What is it? Apostrophe? I don't know. I didn't really pay attention to school. Discord. So this command is going to be discord. We're going to go over, comma function brackets oh whoops that's it's not supposed to be like that function usually has the double brackets there so i deleted them on accident and then we're gonna go end uh yeah and then we're gonna go up enter there you go so what this defines make sure you control s save every line that's what i always do make sure nothing gets corrupted Okay, so pretty much what the register command is, uh, it says it here, but um, so once I do the backslash discord or forward slash, whatever it is, um, backslash, some people say back, forward, I don't really care. Um, after this happens, then everything inside this um, from here to end will happen. So if I do print and then do this, and we'll do the basic hello, whoops world then when i do slash discord it will print hello world in the console that's pretty much the basic of what register command is so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting a call from well we're going to be triggering not getting a call we're going to be triggering an event that adds a message so first thing since we have the config file just you know just so everyone can see how it works then we're going to be doing slash we're going to do if config dot discord so what this is calling this um this squiggly bracket here and then this will call to this config file so 
So you could have multiple. So say if we wanted to use team speak, right? True. Okay, so I was actually wrong with what I'm saying right now and um, what I was just saying in the video. I was just noticing while I was editing. You can't have something like use Discord 2 inside the same inside the same bracket in the config. If you want to have another thing in the config to say, you do con config dot let's say um ts for teen speak equals true. So if we wanted to use this this config, then we would just put um we just replace it like that and then we'll restart it to show you it works and see it still works. That's what you actually do. So if config dot discord dot use discord that yep, yeah, that's what I did. Use discord equals equals true then then something will happen so so for every if you need an end so this if needs another end that just adds to it but you can either do it if config dot discord dot use discord equals equals true you can either do it that way um this for just like double checking i guess to make sure it's equal and true you could also do it this way and just get rid of that so this will automatically um start off as true i believe so if so if you don't have it equals equals true i'm pretty sure it will be true anyways but i like to add the true or false just so i have it so next we need to trigger the actual event so we'll do trigger event and then we're going to do brackets and we're going to do chat colon uh, add message message I'm going to do comma and squiggly line. And there, that's that. So, so now it's registering the command. So if I do this command and then it will go down to line two and if config.discord.useDiscord equals true, then it will go through and add the chat message. If it's false, then obviously it won't do it. So first thing we need to do is define the color. So we'll do color equals and then we need to do rgb so so we'll do we'll just make this red red green blue there we go we want it to be red so that's what we do um next that's color so next is multi-align multi whoops multi-line do we want it to be multi-line i like to put true just because i think it looks better um it's a little more indented a little bit, so it looks a little nicer. So next, we need to add the args. So the args is actually what's going to be inside the chat message. So we can do args equals, and then we'll do this. We'll do squiggly lines. I don't know why I say this. Um, I just do sometimes. Uh, let's say our server is named Twizzle West RP. Then we do that. And then we do comma. And then the single squeaky line, and then this is where we put the message. No Discord today. There we go. And that's literally all you have to do for a basic command. So if I say you wanted another one, you literally just do this and add another one and then change the config file if you have a config file. That's how easy it is. Let's go into the server and test it. I already have my server up and running. It seems to be raining, so let's just restart the resource. Oh no. See, so I figured out what the issue was. We forgot a comma next to multi line where next to true. I'm going to add that in. It's always the little things, I'm telling you. So let's restart the script. There we go. And we're going to do Discord, see how it has there, see how it worked. And obviously, it has the TWRP um, that's red and it says no Discord today. So yeah, that is how you do that. It's very simple. Um, more tutorials. Ask for things in the bottom. I'll do them. I love doing this kind of stuff. And yeah, if you want to see more, please let me know. And have any questions, join the Discord. Uh, that's the best place to get help. Also, the code will be in GitHub in the description. So you can look over it just in case you made any mistakes. Peace out.